Hey everyone, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied with a new crochet tutorial for you. In this video, we're going to go over how to make a granny square for the basic, basic first time granny square crocheters out there. All you need to do is know how to do a double crochet stitch and chain to be able to make this cute square. beginning crocheters can tackle their first granny square. Let me show you how to work this basic double crochet stitch square. So what I've got here on my on my hook is eight, eight chains of a foundation chain. So we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight V's. Now to begin working our square, we're going to skip three of those chains. So we'll yarn over and skipping one, two, three, one, two, three, we're going to dive into the fourth chain from the hook and double crochet five stitches across. So we dive into this fourth chain from the hook, yarn over and double crochet. And we'll do that four more times for demonstration's sake to form the foundation chain. Here's our second one. our third double crochet stitch, our fourth, and we'll finish with a fifth. Obviously in the swatch here that I've got, there's a lot more stitches, but in an effort to make this video not a million years, we're just demonstrating over five. But you can do this over any number of stitches as long as you chain three stitches beyond the amount of double crochet stitches you want to work across it. Just FYI. All right. Now that we finished that first row, we're going to chain three times. One, two, three, and turn our work to the other side. And now we simply will do five double crochet stitches across. So looking here, we will work one, two, three, four, and five to continue our work. So this is just like if you were doing an entire scarf or blanket in double crochet stitch, doing the appropriate turn chains and stitch counts all the way across, but instead of forming a long rectangle, we're forming, we're gonna be forming a whole bunch of different squares that can then be seamed together to form a baby blanket or an afghan. So easily enough, that's our fifth double crochet stitch, and we're ready to chain three and turn and repeat that across the row once again. So this easy square works up really fast because you're using tall double crochet stitches. And all you've got to do is whip up a bunch of these in different colors and seam them together at alternating angles to make your first Afghan. If you've got any questions or other project ideas for us, go ahead and holler in the comments and tune in again soon for more crochet tutorials.